Proverbs 16, 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The primitive root word for commit is to roll. It's like taking a coaster wagon to a hilltop and start downward in it. Once going, it will be hard to stop. That's commitment. It's obeying the Bible by doing all to the glory of God. Colossians 3.23 says, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. In the Old Testament, Ecclesiastes 9.10, much the same, he says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work, nor advice, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where thou goest. In a time when the thoughts of men are in great distress, and really their hands are rain, God has a method to alleviate that. It's a mathematical formula. Commit plus works equals thoughts plus established. In other words, commit works brings established thoughts. Commit your works, it will establish your thoughts. It is deciding to do His work and let Him take care of the rest. Matthew 6.33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. It's taking His yoke instead of your own. Matthew 11.29 Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Taking his yoke is committing to the direction he's going. And committing your cares to him. Casting all your care upon him for he careth for you. Psalm 55, 22 says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord. He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Committing your works on the Lord is doing everything his way. Psalm 119, 128 says, Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Consider Joshua as he comes to the first walled city. And what does he do? He does it God's way. Marches around that city for six days, one time. On the seventh, seven times, they blow the trumpets and shout, and Jericho's walls fall down before them. It's trusting God for results, just as they did. Psalm 127, 1 and 2 says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman taketh, uh, waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. I think about that verse and basically it's saying, work for him, let him give the results, and take a nap. Psalm 37, 5 says, Commit thy way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass.